Today, Joseph R. Biden Jr. stepped into the Rose Garden, laid out a platform, and then gracefully stepped off, bringing to an end his ambitions of becoming president and a nearly 50-year political career. With President Obama at his side, the vice president announced he will not make a third run for the Democratic nomination in what would have been an uphill battle against Hillary Clinton. Major Garrett broke this story today, and he begins our coverage. I believe we're out of time, the time necessary to mount a winning campaign for the nomination. But while I will not be a candidate, I will not be silent. Joe Biden stood with President Obama and said the Democratic nominee should stand on their accomplishments. Democrats should not only defend this record and protect this record, they should run on the record. But mostly, Biden framed an agenda for a campaign that was not to be. We cannot sustain the current levels of inequality that exist in this country. I believe the huge sums of unlimited and often secret money pouring into our politics is a fundamental threat to our democracy. He also made a plea for bipartisanship and took a veiled swipe at Hillary Clinton after she half-jokingly called Republicans her enemies during this month's presidential debate. I don't think we should look at Republicans as our enemies. They are opposition. They're not our enemies. And for the sake of the country, we have to work together. Four more years of this kind of pitched battle may be more than this country can take. After losing his son, Beau, to brain cancer earlier this year, Biden's decision on whether to enter the race hinged largely on his family's emotional readiness for a campaign. Today, he called for an ambitious assault on the disease that claimed his son. If I could be anything, I would have wanted to be the president that ended cancer because it's possible. It's personal. But I know we can do this. Biden, ever cheerful and resilient, ended with a note of optimism that left many friends and supporters wondering what might have been. It's about equality. It's about fairness. It's about respect. As my dad used to say, it's about affording every single person dignity. It's not complicated. We can do this. And when we do, America won't just win the future. We will own the finish line. Despite President Obama's affection and respect for Biden, he had grown restless with the vice president's prolonged presidential deliberations. And Scott, Mr. Obama was more than mildly pleased to see the speculation and the distractions that came with it laid to rest. Major Garrett at the White House. Major, thanks.